Here is the last problem on our series of understanding linear relations which are related with the equation ax plus by equals to c. And what we noticed in these 10 examples was that both x and y variables are fairly independent. We really can't say that one is dependent on the other. So in those cases, we saw that ax plus by equals to c represents fairly well the situation. Now, we will try to connect this equation with the slope intercept form. And here is question number 10. In the equation ax plus by equals to c, how do the signs of a and b relate to the sign of the slope? Explain. So let's try to analyze this. So for that, it would be a good idea to write the equation in slope intercept form. So let's do that part. So we have ax plus by equals to c. So that is the given equation. And from here, we will start and write it in the form of slope and intercept. That basically means rewriting as what y is equal to, rather isolating y. So let's try to isolate y. So we have by equals to, we'll take this term, or both sides we can do minus ax. So we get minus ax plus c. So we're trying to isolate y. And now let's try and divide by b, both sides. So what do we get? We get a over b over x plus c over b, right? So we divided both sides by b. And so we get y equals to minus a over bx plus c over b. Now if you see, let's try to connect this with our own equation of slope and intercept, which was y equals to mx plus b, right? From here, you can say that slope is the slope m is equal to minus a over b, right? And the b value is the y-intercept. y-intercept is c over b. So in this question, let's analyze the slope. Slope is minus of ratio of a over b, right? Now, how does science of a and b affect slope? This question can now be answered, right? So we have slope m equals to minus a over b, right? So let's consider the cases. So let us say the first case is that both a and b are positive. We say both a and b are positive. In that case, what will be the slope? Positive over positive will give us positive and we get a negative slope. So we'll get m is negative, right? In this case, the slope is going to be negative. But if both a and b are, let us say, negative, in that case, what happens to slope? If they're negative, their negative signs will cancel off and still we get slope as negative. And now let us consider the case when one is positive and the other is negative. Correct? So we say if A is positive and if B is negative, in that case, what is M? In such cases, positive or negative will give us negative and when you divide two negatives, will get negative, right? It is the quotient of these two. Even if I put A is negative or B is positive, opposite sign, the slope will become positive, right? Because this will be negative and this becomes positive. Slope will be positive. Negative, positive will give us positive. So if they have opposite signs, the slope will be positive, right? For example, if you take A equals to minus 2 and if b equals to let us say plus 4 opposite signs right then m will be equals to minus of minus 2 over 4 which will be minus of minus half right so minus and minus will become positive right so let me write them in brackets so it's very clear 
So you'll get what? You get plus, right? So when there are different signs, you get positive slope. So now we can summarize. So, so if A and B have same sign, then M is, if they have same sign, their signs will cancel off, you get negative. So M is negative, right? M is negative. But if they have opposite signs, in that case, M will be positive, right? So that is how we can summarize this. So let's write, write it down here. So our conclusion is, or the result is, we'll write sine of A and B and slope here. So if the sine is same, then the slope is negative. If the sine is opposite, then the slope is positive. So that is what we can conclude from this particular equation. So as an exercise, try to do, write down the slope, whether it is positive or negative for the given equations. So let me give you equation number one as 2x plus 3y equals to 4. And equation number two as 2x minus 3y equals to 7. So here you see we have same signs for A and B. Both are positive. Here one is positive and one is negative. So figure out and find out how is the sign of slope as relation to the sign of A and B. You will understand it better. Thank you.